Well, hello everybody. It's a Thursday, which thank God means we have playgroup in the morning. Um, I can hear him banging around in the room behind me. He's been in there for about well, almost an hour now. Um, so hopefully he'll go to sleep soon. Otherwise we might have a quite a long one on our hands. Um, so today's playgroup, thank God. I thought I'd just give a little insight into what a day as a stay-at-home dad with one child is like. So, well, one toddler. So this morning, thank goodness I've got a wonderful wife and it's, we alternate. And so today was her turn to get up with him. So at about 20 to six, we are both awoken to the sounds of dada, dada, dada. So my wife gets up to go see him and that is not what he wanted to see. So crying and screaming from him. I want to see my dad. I want to see my dad. Um, so my wife leaves him to it. Um, ten more minutes of crying and screaming. She goes in again to see if she can make it all right. More crying and screaming from him. He wants to see his dad. Uh, there's me trying to sleep. <laughs> um, I think at about five to six, I got up and saw him. Gave him a hug. That seemed to settle him a little bit. Um, he popped down again. Um, ten minutes later, crying and screaming, um, my wife goes in to see him and no, doesn't want a bar of her. Um, she decides that, you know, it's past six, he can come into our bed and have a little cuddle with me. No, doesn't want that either. So he stays in his cot screaming, 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 crying for me. Eventually I call out to him and tell him he can come see me in the room, in our bedroom, um, to which he eventually after another five minutes, it's about quarter past six at this point, um, he decides, yep, he'll get out of the cot and come and see me in the bed. So he has a little cuddle, settles down a bit, and that's how the day starts. So Joe gets up with him and um, does the normal stuff, makes breakfast. Uh, it's my turn to sleep in. At this point I've been awake for about 40 minutes, 50 minutes, mainly of him crying. So um, I managed to get a little bit more dozing in, um, but not really. So then, and then it's time for me to get up so that Joe can get ready to go to work. So about seven o'clock I'm up um, with him. Thankfully there's coffee, so I can have some coffee to try and wake up. I am zonked. Um, my wife gets ready for work and goes off to work, leaving me with him. He's, you know, playing around in the lounge room, wants to play with me a lot of that. A lot of the time it's games that he wants to play that involve me. Um, which is okay, but it's tiring. Um, then, shortly after eight, um, it's time for me to have a shower. So, he promises me he'll be good um, while I'm in the shower. Uh, so I have a shower. And when I get out of the shower, I discover that he has climbed over the little barrier that we have up, which is no longer actually able to stop him, but it's more of a psychological barrier, so he knows that he's not allowed over it. And he's unplugged the phone and the internet equipment and a lamp and thankfully hasn't broken anything. Um, so I have to sort all that back out and plug that all in. Um, incidentally I'm not sure what he's done but our internet doesn't seem to be working at the moment so that's you know, possibly a result of him. Um, then it's time for me to pack all the stuff for him for playgroup. Um, so I put Sesame Street on, try and keep him occupied. Um, and also because he knows that Sesame Street usually, because it finishes at nine, that's sort of when we need to leave to go places. Um, wrestle him into some clothes. Thankfully today he was quite compliant with that and that was fine. Um, and then we can get in the car around nine and head out to playgroup. Um, today was okay, we had to go and stop um, at the shop on the way and today he wanted to get out which is good because often he wants to stay in the car while I go into the shop which I don't like doing um, particularly because I have to leave the air conditioning on because otherwise it would be too hot and it, I don't like having to leave the car running while I'm in the car, a shop or leaving him in a locked car in the heat of summer so thankfully today although he wanted to be carried so I had to carry him all around the shop um, and thank God it was playgroup, which is the one time during the week that I get a chance to actually just sit down 
and he plays more or less happily by himself for most of the time that we're there. Um, so I get a good solid few hours, you know, get a good couple of hours in there usually with only a few interruptions where I can just sit down and not have to attend to him all the time. Um, today was quite interesting, he seemed to get jealous of me playing with um, one of the babies there. Um, so this is an opportunity for us to explore the ideas of jealousy and um, that is good practice for him. I mean, he's likely to have a younger sibling at some point, and so some mild jealousy. The only disturbing part was when he <laughs> scratched the child, which was not exactly, didn't exactly make me feel like dad of the year. Um, fortunately, he didn't seem to do any major damage, but it wasn't a very nice way to end playgroup on that note of him attacking somebody else's baby. <sighs> well, there'll be probably more of that because my sister has just had a baby, so we'll probably be seeing a fair bit of them, hopefully. So there'll be more, plenty more opportunities for Spence to have a car to go at some other child. It's great. <sighs> still here, so he's not asleep. Hopefully he'll go to sleep soon. Um, hopefully this afternoon goes well. See you all next time.